everyone, welcome to Range Rats. I'm Jay, and today we're going to take a look at the Colt Python sight system from Wilson Combat. And let's face it, as cool as the Colt Python is, the sights are the weak link. This one, the rear sight is just kind of wobbly. It, it wants to move on you even with that set screw in there. After you shoot it for a while, it just seems a little wobbly. And the front sight, while it's easy to pick up with that orange insert in there, it would do better with a fiber optic sight, and I actually mentioned that in our overview of the Colt Python, which there is a link in the description if you want to check that video out. But today we're just going to deal with the sights. And I guess we'll start with the front sight, since that one is the easiest. For the front sight, we have the Wilson Combat fiber optic front sight. I chose the green. I believe it comes in red fiber optic as well. And also gold bead or a silver bead is also an option. I went with the green. It's just my taste. So let's get it apart and let's do it. The package will come with an Allen key and an extra set screw inside, which is kind of nice. The first thing we'll do is we'll check to make sure the weapon is clear, of course. Don't want to be doing this on a loaded weapon. As you can see, it is clear. And then you will take the Allen key that came with it, or you can use your own, and unscrew that. It is in there very tight, at least on this one. Kind of feels like they put some thread lock around there, which is always a good idea. We'll see if they did. And they did not. It's just in there kind of tightly. Then you take the front sight and it should just pop right off, I'm imagining. Just like that. Very easy. Nothing to it. We'll set that off to the side. Now the Wilson Combat sight has two ends to it. You want this end to be on the muzzle end. And the side with the serrations, you probably can't even see them. But on one side there's serrations, you want that towards you. And those are in there to reduce glare. So you'll set that in just like so. Fits in very nicely. And then you will grab, I'm going to use the new set screw. There's nothing wrong with the old one, but I'm going to try the new one. If the old one feels tighter, I'm going to use the old one. Back this one out, but we'll see. So go ahead and preload your screw onto your Allen key. And it does feel pretty tight. It feels pretty good. You can put a little bit of blue Loctite on here if you want to. I would avoid using red. I, I don't think you'll ever get it back out if you use red. Just because we're dealing with such a small Allen key there and such a small set screw. But for the front sight, that is the installation. Very easy. Now let's move on to the rear sight. And for this, I'm going to go to the workshop. Because I want to use the vise, you don't have to use a vise. I'm just going to use a vise. So I'm going to head there and we'll be right back. All right, so we're in the workshop now, and we have the rear sight for the Cold Python from Wilson Combat. It does come with a extra spring and an extra roll pin in there, and I believe an extra screw for the top there too. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, and we will put the pistol in the vise. I do suggest you get some kind of uh, rubber pads that go in there. There's magnetic ones you can buy. If you are using a vise for this, some people wrap their pistols in like masking tape or something like that. That should work as well too, but these rubber things are really, really nice. So you don't mess up your finish. And what you will need for this job is a screwdriver, flathead. I'm going to use a 1 16th punch to get that roll pin out. And then of course, a hammer of some sort. This hammer is uh, pretty old, it's about 25 years old. I made it in high school, 
and metal shop and I've been using it for gunsmithing ever since. Now a lot of people will remove that set screw in there first, the screw that is the adjustable part for the windage. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the roll pin first. So I'm just going to tap that out with my little punch. You don't want to tap it all the way out. I suppose you could if you wanted to, but there we go. I felt it give away. It is not completely out on the other end. So at this point, with these in place, I'm going to take my screwdriver take off that set screw. Now there is a spring under here, so you want to lift it up gently, and as you do that, pull your punch out. Like so. And then gently lift up your your sight there. Now I can feel it's still a little stuck in there, so I'm going to grab some pliers and just pull that pin on the other side out just a little bit. And I'm probably just going to go ahead and pull the whole pin out anyways. You can. It doesn't matter either way. Set that pin off to the side. Don't lose it. You do get another one with the package, so if you do lose it, that's a good thing. And this should pop right off. You can take that spring out that's inside. Right there. And that is your old sight. For the new sight, since I have the pin out and everything, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Wilson Combat hardware. So we will take the new spring, we'll drop it in the hole there. You'll see that hole, you'll see what I mean when you're doing it. Can't miss it. And then we will take the rear sight and just set it into place. You want it as far forward as it will go so it lines up with the hole nicely. I'll leave that alone for a second. I'm going to start my roll pin. I'm just gonna go the same way I went before, just opposite. These roll pins are kind of small, so it's a good idea to hold them with pliers if you can, just to get it started. Of course, your side might fall down from the, the pressure of the hammer there. All right. So we will set the rear sight into place. We will go ahead and tap on that pin. tell the pin is going through the site because the site is now not coming off. That's a good thing. We'll tap all the way to the edge there. And at this point, when you get close to your finish, you'll grab your punch and you will gently, I'm doing this from a weird position, I'm going to switch positions because I don't want to ruin my finish. There we go. It's nice and secure now. Next I'm going to take the screw that came with the Wilson Combat one and put it in there. Wilson Combat one has very audible clicks. I like this so far. All right. 
And then all you have to do after that is go to the range and test your windage and elevation and adjust as needed. And that's all there is to it. There really isn't much to doing the sights on these. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got your sights installed. And until next time, peace out.